Hello children. Today we are going to tell you a story about the thirsty crow. This story was written by A. E. Wright. On a hot summer day, a thirsty crow flew into the village to quench his thirst. He flew over houses, roads, paths, search fields. He looked everywhere but could not find a drop of water. He felt weak and sat on a tree branch outside the village. Feeling sad for himself, he said, Caw! 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 I've been searching for water since the morning, but I cannot find anything to drink. I am becoming weak with thirst. <sighs> Just as the crow was about to fly away to another village in search of water, the crow saw a pitcher of water. He exclaimed, Thank goodness! I hope there is water in that pitcher. The crow flew straight to the pitcher and looked inside to check if it had water. To his pleasant surprise, there was water in the pitcher. The crow put his head into the pitcher to drink the water but could not reach the water with his beak as the water was too low in the pitcher and the pitcher's neck was too narrow. With sadness, the crow said, Go! 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 I cannot get to the water. The crow tried to push the pitcher to the side so that he can drink the water when the pitcher topples over, but it was a heavy pitcher and try as the crow might, he could not topple over the pitcher. When toppling the pitcher over did not work, the crow did not lose hope and started to think of a way to drink the water from the pitcher. As he was flying over the pitcher, the crow spotted some pebbles on the ground and had a bright idea. The crow started picking up one pebble at a time and dropping it into the pitcher and as more and more pebbles were put in the pitcher, the water started rising to the top. Soon enough, the water came to a level where the crow could reach the water with his beak and drink it. The crow drank the water and quenched his thirst. Once he had finished drinking the water, the crow flew away. So, dear children, what did you learn today from this story? What is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that you have to be patient when you are faced with difficult situations. You should be smart and think of a solution that will work for you in this situation and you should be resourceful and use the resources around you to solve your problems. Thank you very much for watching this story. I hope you enjoyed it very much. And I hope you like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such stories. Have a good evening. Good day. Bye bye.